Pleasure to see you and talk about this film. Obviously, it's such a thrilling thriller, but how excited were you about the project in the sense that liking Dan Brown or liking Ron Howard, what was the it's big It's a incentive? combination, you know. Dan Brown, Ron Howard, Tom Hanks, then all the co-actors, Felicity and everybody, the locations. So, it's, it's you know, it's a, there's a lot of material to get excited. And the character, you know, this it's a character which is not so easy to really, exactly. uh, you know, to research on. There's not material, not enough material to, to really understand him. So it gives you a lot of um, possibility to imagine and create your picture of this character. Exactly. Imagine his whole backstory, his back circumstances, story, uh, his profession, yeah. which is which is you know which is not a known profession. Uh, nobody knows that, that these kind of people exist. Uh, but there must be, there must be this kind of people who exist because he's in secret service and secret service is a secret service. Exactly. That's why it is secret. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much research you it, can do no about research, the secrety yeah. of yeah. the service. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great group of people as well in terms of an ensemble. Obviously you had a lot of scenes where you were isolated in the secret service headquarters. Yeah, yeah. But you got to meet everybody and work with everyone. Oh yes. Um, uh, and it was exciting because th these people are coming from different different mm -hmm. world, in different countries. Uh, and Tom has done this series, so he was very comfortable with it. Uh, he it's like you know he uh, we are we are we are new guests yeah. in their house, Tom and Ron's house, and uh, we had a great time, great great time. Did you send subliminal messages to Dan Brown that it would be great to film in India next? You know, so many <laughs> wonderful locations <laughs> that he can go to. <laughs> uh, definitely, I've invited him to India because there are a lot of stories. In every nook and corner, you have stories in India. And there are a lot of material. And it's a, it's a, uh, it's a very different country. It's a very different country. There's, uh, some, the, you know, I, I, I've, I've been with units, foreign units in India, and some people, you know, just fall in love uh, with, the, with the chaos. Of course. Chaotic life of, of, of India. The buoyancy. You know, the buoyancy, yeah. 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 Well, uh, the Bollywood film industry, the Indian film industry are so self-sufficient because it's so huge. Hmm. So what is the biggest incentive for you to also have a Hollywood career? How much does it make it diversified for you? How does it expand your horizons? I think uh, they cannot, they are self-sufficient definitely, but there's a big challenge right now. Uh, the way Hollywood cinema is capturing the market. Yeah. So they cannot remain self-sufficient for a long time. They have to pull up their songs, they have to make stories which uh, could find different market mm -hmm. all over the world. So they have to start making films where you, they can find new audience. What Hollywood is doing constantly, they're constantly exploring different markets. Like in recent years, the way Hollywood is growing, it's, it's exactly. really, really uh, commendable. Yeah. So India has to do similar thing because India is also a big industry. and But they have the audience which are uh, Indian diaspora or Indian audience. So they need to create different audience. Yeah, no, it's true. And it's also true for us in the Arab world, especially in Dubai. It's very interesting how films have been flourishing, but, you know, Indian yeah. films remain quite, quite popular and Bollywood yeah. movies yeah. as well. So we, this we're is, a nice this is a conventional, like This is yeah. a conventional market, but they need to find a new market as well. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. You've worked with so many famous people, you being so famous yourself. What do you find most thrilling about Hollywood? Hollywood, because they are making films for, for the whole world. Yeah. So their characters, their uh, stories, are such written in such a manner that you know everybody can relate to it, and uh, there are nuances. They play on nuances, and I love every actor uh, love nuances to play nuances. The, we don't want to play single-dimensional characters. And Hollywood stories, the treatment of the stories, give you the give you the chance to play the complexity, even in a very. Uh, uh, studio-oriented film which is for the mass which is for the larger audience but still the characters are very nuanced what has been the most thrilling scene that you've shot in a blockbuster film so far <laughs> ah, uh, in this movie I can talk about this movie this is the scene with me and Tom where he sees me for the first time yes. and he's been threatened by, by a guy and uh, you know I, I save him but the way I come across he, it's difficult for him to really know whether I am On a threat. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am there to kill him, or I am there to save him. 
So that's a very, you know, uh, interesting scene. Yeah, absolutely. It's like saving Private Ryan indirectly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>